Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and some more Transport Fever 2 where we are going to be restarting in a new game because for some odd reason I just I never can seem to continue the game on here. As much as I really really enjoy this game, I, I just have problems just trying to finish anything on here. <laughs> but that is going to be different this time, we hope. So let's go ahead and I like to play free game. And there has been some new stuff added to this game too. There's been a large update since actually the last time I actually played it. Uh, lots of new stuff, lots of new little features they've added. Uh, some graphic enhancements, things like that. We are going to be playing Temperate because I like the forest valleys and stuff like that. So we are going to be playing on a very large map with a 1-1 ratio. Uh, the difference between this is if like you know, if you do like a 1-3, see it's like it's going to make it pretty large. So... I don't really want to do that. I prefer to go with a 1-1 one, one and just make it completely square. Uh, we are going to go with a very high on the number of towns. That's going to give us a bunch of towns to play around with. And we're going to go on high on the industries, which uh, as you can see here, all the little yellow little buildings here on the map. That is all the different industries we have everywhere. So, and on the map itself, I am going to use, I've been playing around with seeds and like giving different things names. We're going to call this Blue Ridge, which is also going to be the name of the series, which is going to generate us this map right here, which I find quite interesting. I've taken a look at it, uh, looked at the different uh, towns and where things are situated, and I, I, I quite like it. So we're going to go with that, and let's go ahead and go USA, because I'm in the United States, and I really like that. And one thing, I, I was looking at mods and stuff. I still haven't found any mods or anything I really want to use with this game just yet. There are lots of different trains and stuff you can get. I was hoping to find something like a Northern Suffolk train. I think that's what they call it. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the last name specifically. But it's the trains that kind of run through my area here. Um, not specifically my area where I'm living at, but close to here. And I was kind of hoping to try to find some of those, but I didn't see any that really matched the trains that I see. And therefore I just didn't grab them. Besides, those are much later in the game before you even get, you know, those modern trains anyway. Because we're going to be starting in the year 1850 with a difficulty of easy. And you're like, well, why are you playing on easy? Because I'm a YouTuber and I like to get things done. So let's go ahead and start game. All right, here is the game map we are going to be playing on. So as you can see, it is, it is very large. We have lots of towns, including Louisville and Lexington right over here, which are uh, which really weird because they got like Lexington right next to Green Bay. That's not really a thing. But anyway, uh, we are going to kind of start. The, there's two ways I like to start in this game. First, I like to find a good center city and kind of check it out. And uh, just looking at the map, it looks like this Clarksville is actually like the closest that I can find to more of a center spot. Um, and then I like to see what that city particularly needs and if I can get it there quickly. In this case, it needs goods and machinery and neither of which we can make very easily without lots of railroads, lots of work and yeah, we, we just can't import that into this town and make that town grow. Um, speaking of which, if you guys are not familiar with what Transport Fever 2 is, uh, you basically, it's a like a transport tycoon. You provide the world with the transport infrastructure it needs and make a fortune with transport services. Uh, you carry people on their way to work or shopping, deliver the required cargo items to the towns, and be the reason the towns grow and thrive. Which, uh, this, like I said, this game is a lot of fun for strategy-wise. And, you know, I like trains, and I like to play around with trains. So, this is kind of, every time I play this game, it makes me want to play more City Skylines. And then I just never get to the trains in City Skylines, so... <laughs> We do have City uh, or St. Louis over here, which needs food and machinery, see, but there's nothing there we really need to. So I think, like I said, I've already taken a look at this map. So my second option on how I like to start is find a town that has something that we can make like right out the bat and kind of go with. In this particular case, we're looking at Arlington. Uh, more specifically, we're looking at Louisville up here. So Louisville needs tools and machinery now we can make the tools right over here but we're going to need wood luckily arlington down here has the arlington forest and the arlington sawmill that we can take advantage of like right off the bat and that's pretty much what we're going to do 
So I think let's do this. Uh, let's get these tips off the screen. Let's go ahead and we're gonna build a road first of all to connect these two right through here. And I think I'm going to go probably I didn't really want to go straight, but uh, you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. All right, so now can I get a depot in here, a truck station that will handle both of these things? Can I? No, I can get one over here and I can get one over here, but I can't do both. That's fine, I suppose. Um, we do need a truck depot at both, I think. Yeah, so we might as well just go ahead and build that now. And we're gonna need to build these things as cheap as we possibly can. And I think, let's do this. Uh, 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 kind of maneuver that around a little bit. Let's see if I can get that straight. Yeah, yeah, that's probably all right. 87,000, 82,000. Wait a minute, 84. Is there anywhere else I can build this here that's cheaper? Yeah, like right here is like 81,000. I'm tempted. I think I'm gonna put it like right here though. Uh, all right, that's about as cheap as I'm gonna get that. All right, now we're gonna need another depot right over here, which again, that's absolutely fine. And I think I may actually put it right at the edge of the road here. Yeah, actually, that's 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 gonna work just fine. Uh, boop, there we go. All right, and we're gonna need one up here in the town which I think we will put, if we destroy a building, I think it makes me pay for that. Yeah, see, look at that. If I if I try to put this anywhere where we're removing a building, it's going to make me pay dearly for that. So let's do this. Let's build a street. I don't know what kind of streets these are, but. Ah, I don't, mm, I don't wanna have to destroy that building, but it's gonna make me actually no you know what maybe it won't well, may not what if I just go through here Ooh, let's try not to straight uh, let's try that again yeah let's just do that right okay sure that sounds fine and then let's put a trucking station right over here I think that's gonna be a Good idea. Does that reach pretty much everywhere I need to do? And eh, not particularly, but good enough, I suppose. Since there's nothing over here, all the goods and stuff seems to be needed over here on this side of town. So I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and put this right here. Uh, Alright, let's do a road depot first. And let's put this, change this around here, just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna have to maneuver that in there just right, get that straight. 19,000 for that, that's not too shabby. I uh, will do that. There we go. And then let's put a truck stop over here somewhere. And I want it to hit everything. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. What if? What if? Move that around just a little bit. What if I put that in here and then connect the road to it? Would that work? It might. 85,000 for that. It would hit quite a bit of that. Hmm. Hmm, let's do, you know what, I got a better idea. First of all, we're going to make it quite a large thing here. Yeah, all right, and then let's maneuver us down here. We're gonna put it just right next to the real depot, I'm just right in there. Yeah. There we go, 
Okay, so now we have pretty much most of what we need. We do need to get the parts down here though as well. So we need wood and stuff down here. And can I maneuver this around? I'm trying to think here. Let, let's, uh, I was thinking about maybe maneuvering that around a little bit, but, uh, mm, okay, let's just go ahead and put in a truck station down here. That works. Yeah. It's an awful expensive truck station. Why is it so costly to do that there? What if I put it on the other side of the road? actually cheaper on the other side of the road how odd is that well you know what I'm gonna go with it let's just maneuver that right there just a little bit and yeah oh you know what I know now why it's so much okay we don't actually need that to be that long yeah that's better that's much better all right a little closer to town that way we can kind of get things where we need to go all right, so now let's get a couple of lines together here. Let's go with a new line. There to here. It's quite a long line, but it's all right. And then we do have the quarry over there, but yeah, I don't want to do that. We need to get the wood to the sawmill. So let's from, oh, oh no, oh no, 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 uh, new line. Let's put this one to here. So this wood will be carried over to here, which will then be changed into these. Now we need another new line that will take these down to our trucking station. There we go. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So that I think that'll work. So we have a line that's connecting that to that to that. I think I've got everything there. Now let's move up here to Louisville and let's start doing some stuff up here now. So we need rocks, which are way on the other side of town. And yeah, let's see. Those quarries up there, that's a problem. Let's see if we can't make this a little better. Let, uh, we're gonna put in some roads. Well, how much money we got left? We got four million. Okay, we're good on roads. Let's go ahead and build this right here uh, I'm gonna go with a medium country road yeah yeah let's see yeah that looks good What if we just go straight? Oh, per perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. There we go. So that should do that. The only problem is connecting down to that. But you know what? I don't like this right here. So let's go ahead and let's just build a road. Let's delete this road out of here. And let's put in, there we go. And then we'll go with a country road. Country road, take me home. I don't like that. Why can't I get the road that I want? Sure, and then just go straight from there. Close enough. That I do, pig. That I do. All right, let's go with. All right, we're gonna need another trucking station up here, so uh, I need a longer one here in town. Let's go with. Oh man, I wish that got everything, but it doesn't. Um, but only if it did. 
but it doesn't. But only if it did. Alright, I guess we'll go with something like this. Put that right about there. Now, can I get a road depot like right in there next to that? I surely can. That's even better. Alright, perfect. Alright, now let's get, uh, let's see. We are going to need to get stuff from there to there. This is a long way coming from there. I think here's what we're going to do. We're going to use these two, co we're going to use the coal mine over here and the iron mine over here. So let's go ahead and put those in. Let's do, I bet if we come down here and we maneuver this around, we don't need that to be the very big. So we'll just push this around. Why is that so expensive there? What? 120, 116,000 there. Is there not a cheaper place we can put this? What? Why? Why is it so expensive? Wait, what about there? Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Nope. What about over here? I don't like that either. Uh, okay, 131, 120, 321, right in there somewhere. 120,000. That'll work. We'll put it there. Okay. Now, let's go over here to this one. And let's see where we can build this over here where it won't cost us an arm and a leg. Eh? 199, 177, 150, oof, 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 we're getting charged a lot. 130,000 right there, what about over here? Oh, that's even worse. Oh, wait, wait, that's not so bad there. Uh, all right, we're still, we still got lots of money. I think I can work with this. Yep, right here on the edge seems to be the cheapest. Okay, yeah, right there. A little further away, so we're gonna have to fix our lines a little better, but that's not terrible. Now, does this reach that? It does not. All right, so we're gonna need one more, like right over here somewhere. Which, what if we put it like right out in front? Will that work? Turn this around. 130, 30, 40, 40, 124,000, 118,000. Not shabby, not shabby at all. Uh, let's do it. All right, so now, I think that will probably do what we needed to do. So let's get some lines in here now. Let's do a new line that's gonna run from here to here. And then let's see. So and then from there to there. Oh. Hmm. Uh, you know what? No. Oops. I had another one. Let's just do that. All right, and then let's put another new line that runs from here to here. And then let's put one more line that runs from there to there. How about that? That's three lines. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, uh, let's take a look at our road depot now. And, uh, well, we'll get to the... Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the roads going here. Let's buy some vehicles. Let's get some cargo, some American horse-drawn carriages. How about that? Let's get about... How many are we going to need of these? Let's see. I would like to get about five. Let's go that. Fine. Let's do ten. And then maybe... Let's do twelve. Let's do 12 horse-drawn carriages. Now we're gonna put five of these 
on to that line. We're going to put five of these onto that line. And our last remaining two, we're going to put on this line. There we go. Okay, that, that will probably work. So we got to have five trucks carrying, or five trucks each, I should say, carrying the coal and the iron over here to our steel mill. And then since it takes a little bit to actually make that, these should fill up and then we will have just a couple of trucks to bring them over here, which should be just fine, I think. Now, oh, you know what? I forgot about our sawmill over here or our, our tool factory. Uh, there's no good way to do this. So we are going to need another trucking station over here. So let's put it, how much would that cost? 108. Uh, ooh, nine, ooh, 88,000. I like 88,000. Oh, I saw an 86 there somewhere. I'm gonna go with 86. Uh, ooh, 83, even better. I'm just gonna stop there, yeah. And let's get that to there. All right, eh, not too bad, not too bad. All right, and we won't worry with the line right there for that. Well, you know what, I will go ahead and add, oh, I already did the line, okay. I'm not gonna worry with adding trucks to that just yet. Nah, there's, there's not really a big point in that. Um, but, but now, now we need to figure out how we're going to get the goods from up here to down to here and vice versa. So here's the problem with this. And this is one thing I hate about working in these maps like this with this terrain like that is look at the size of that, that heel. That, that's got to be a problem getting things down through here. But you know what? I think we can do it. I do. So let's go ahead. We're going to do rails. Let's get a, a cargo terminus station. And we don't need it to be long. Not right now, anyway. That's what she said. Uh, and let's put it over here. And just kind of maneuver that just about right. Right in there. Oh, I think will work. Oh, look at that. It's got to go perfect right where we need it. Okay. Not bad. Uh, yeah, right there. Okay, and then I don't know where we're gonna put the other one down there, but we will put it somewhere. So now let's try to see if we can get the rails down the hill in a decent way. So this is where we always run into problems. So I want to get this down the hill if I can. I need to get it over here is where I need to get it. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down a little bit. And let's see if this will work. Right in there. Okay. <clears throat> now, I don't know about that. Not sure if that's going to work quite the way we want it to. So let's go ahead and we're just going to delete this. No, I don't think that's going to do what I want it to do. Let me try bringing this up this way. So what I'd like to do is get it to come. Oh, I don't know. And that straight line. That's actually quite good. Ooh. Uh, ooh, hold on. No. Can I get it down here? Nope. That doesn't work. Nope.
Oh, this actually might work. Oh. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, that actually worked. I, I don't know how I was able to do that, but sure. Now, now that I'm not happy with. But maybe if we bring it down here. We are way up there on that hill. Okay, so that's... I'm pretty sure no matter what I do here, that is going to be a problem. Yeah. So where are we coming from? We're coming down here? Okay. So... What if... What if I bring this across this right here? Right? Okay. And... Okay, yeah, this this could maybe work. Alright, and then I just need to get it... Oh, too much slope. Oh no! Of course it is. Okay, well wait a minute, what if I go further back? Because I still feel like I can make this work. Uh... Oh, right there. Okay, cool. That's a lot of money. But... Worth it for the train, I think? I'm going to go with it. Okay. Cool. Now I'm down to a million dollars. Because that, that took me forever to get done. I'm not happy with this down here. Can I get this to, I don't know, come out a little straighter here, maybe? Let's find out. I can. All right, that, that's better. Okay, cool. Uh, now we still need a train station down here, which we can totally fix up. Let's do building. Let's do a terminus. Let's do down here. Okay, turn this around. And... I would like for you to be straight. Can we get you straight? I think we can. Uh, yeah, it connects to a lot of it. it doesn't connect where I want you to connect, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and Put that right there. All right, and the tracks. Finish off the tracks. Bob's your uncle, bing, bang, bong. There you go. All right, everything is connected, except we still need a train, and we still need a train depot. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Let's put the train depot. Mm. I'm kind of thinking about putting it over here. Let's do... Now, do I want to put it down there? Or which way do I want to turn it? That's another thing. Let's do... Hmm. Let's turn it around. And let's put the train depot right here next to the train station. Alright, connect some tracks up to that. Too much curvature, it says. It's fine. There we go. Alright! Cool! Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we are going to need some uh, some road vehicles down here. So let's see, what, what are we connecting here? Um, we are doing... We need these two to work. And then to bring it down here. Also over here, so... That's going to be taking that over there. Let's do this. Let's do five vehicles. Four strong carriage. Let's get about 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten for the boards. Uh, maybe not that many. And let's just go with about twelve for now. Okay. Now, let's get our first five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to have those on our second line, which looks like it's yellow. Yeah. There we go. And then we're going to put... Uh, let's get about three... Let's do about four of these coming down this green line here. And we'll take our remaining three and put them on the red line. There we go. Okay. All right. I think we've got something. Now, now we need a train. Five vehicles. Yeah, five vehicles. Uh, let's do... All right, so locomotives. Obviously, we need locomotives. <clears throat> the only one we have right now is a Baldwin six wheel. So we'll go with it. Okay. And then we're going to need some cargo wagons. So we are going to be carrying wood, steel, planks. Yeah, we're going to need some of those. So let's add a couple of those. And I think this one carries the tools. It does. So let's add one of those. We're not going to be carrying a lot of that back and forth. And... You know, we could connect... Oh, we don't have a passenger place, though. Um... I'm trying to decide if I want to do another gondola, another flat car. <clears throat> How much is this going to This is going to cost I'll be almost all of my money right now just for this. I do want to add another flat car, I feel like. So let's put that at the end. There we go. All right. I like this. Let's go with this. Buy it. And, oh, we never built a line for that, did we? No, no problem. Uh, from here, from Arlington to Lexington. Or Louisville. Not, I always want to say Louisville or Lexington, but I keep, yeah, whatever. All right. I think I have connected everything. Everything that we need. That should make this work, I believe. I feel like I have. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and unpause and start losing money, shall we? Okay. Now, our train should be rolling out of there. Oh, no. You know what? Because we haven't actually done that yet. But we might be able to save some money just by having the train parked for the time being until these guys start moving. All right. Let's, let's get them going. All right, move a little faster, guys. Okay. So I'm going to check this out, see how this works, and we will be right back. Okay, so everything seems to be working about right with the lines and everything, except for one itsy bitsy tiny thing. I forgot to buy vehicles for this line. So I am getting the steel. The steel is definitely working. That line is working great. We are, look at this, look at all this steel we have sitting here ready to go but we're not transporting anything back up which is causing us to lose money and I can't really afford to do that so um, let's see we're at 408,000 right now let's pause the game real quick because I need I think I'm gonna need to take a loan yeah we're gonna need to borrow 500,000 which sucks but that will give us 95,000 that will give us a couple of dollars to purchase some vehicles up here so let's see I can't believe I forgot this, but yeah, you know, it happens. Uh, one, two, three. Let's do four. No, I can't buy four. I can buy three. Three at a go. Okay. And see, I made the line, but I forgot to buy vehicles and put them on the line. <laughs> Oopsie. All right. So now that should take care of that. Yeah. All right. So our train will come up here and the train will grab the steel. Right up here, whenever the train gets here, 
sometime soon. Looks oh, like that nice little tavern. Central Market. Oh, that's actually good. Yeah, because it's like the train comes up and it brings the goods up here and they sell them in the market. That's pretty brilliant, actually. I'm glad I thought to put that there. <laughs> Completely on purpose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a good haul. Alright, that should work out. That should work great. Alright, and then the train will go back down the hill. In the meantime, we do have... Uh, let's see. Uh, I think if I go down to the bottom of the hill now, back down here to Arlington, I believe... Yeah, look at that. We've got plenty right there. Some of this should be sitting over here for it to take. It should be. Of course, it could just be sitting over here and then it'll transfer over to it in a moment, I suppose. We'll find out. I might need to make this bigger. What are you bringing in? Oh, you're bringing in more wood? Okay. Did you not put any wood on the... No, they didn't put any wood over here. But you need to put wood over there. Where's our train? Train's on its way. Okay, come on, train. Oh, they're I'll see. Okay, they're taking some of that over here to make tools. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's some. One. We got one over there. Well, you know what? One's better than nothing, and we just made some cash. So, with that, I think that will do for this episode, and we'll continue on in the next one and build out our line here. So, I'm kind of thinking... Where do we want to go from here? We want to... We... Now that we're making tools, not only could we transport them up here, we could also transport them over here to Charlotte as well, which wouldn't be a stretch... And we could actually probably... Oh, they need them down here in Worcester, too. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so we could totally just start delivering some stuff over here. That would also work, methinks. Hmm. And the Charlotte. We're going to need a lot more tools. We're going to need a lot more planks and stuff coming down here. A lot. Where... Uh... Let's see. Uh, make... You're not making a whole lot. We need more of that steel down here. All right, so, yeah, I think that's going to do it. All right, and with that being said, I uh, just want to kind of discuss a couple things here that has to do with the channel and a few other things. First of all, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my fans out there. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, you're enjoying my videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that bell to be notified. And uh, if you want to help out the channel, all you got to do is just like this video if you did. And if you didn't, you know, I don't care. Still, hit that like button because it helps out the channel. Uh, comments also, you know, just comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. You know the usual things. Uh, I also want to give a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much. Uh, I know I don't offer a lot to my patrons, but you guys are great and you've been supporting me for so long and I very much appreciate it. So, huge shout out to you guys as well. Also, I just started a brand new channel having to do with something else that I absolutely love and that's movies specifically the horror and sci-fi and we're going to be doing lots of stuff on that channel as well i got my first video out up on that channel it is a top 10 werewolf movies of all time according to me and hopefully you guys will go check that out you should see a link here at the end and that's going to do it wherever you guys are in the world good morning good afternoon good evening and good night thank you for watching